Holy produce, you guys. Lots of produce in this haul. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and every single Saturday I share my grocery haul and meal plan for my family of six. I have also started adding in the non-grocery items that I pick up, whether that be toilet paper or fun things for the kids, whatever I find at whatever grocery store that I go to. This week I went to two stores. I went to Walmart and HEB. So this week's meal plan, I am actually not doing a lot of cooking at home. We are going on a road trip. We're gonna be gone for half the week. So the meal plan and the meals that I'm making are a little different, but I did find some new things that I'm really excited to try. So let's get into the two store haul, then the meal plan. Okay, so we are going to start with HEB, and it was $126 total. That rarely happens. No change, just $126. And I did get one non-food item. This was $11.19, so I picked this up for my son Bryce. We are going to be in the car for over five hours to a destination next week and then home. So I wanted to get all the kids a book. You guys will see in the Walmart haul that I got the rest of the girls a book, but this is the one that I picked up for Bryce. I didn't really see anything at Walmart, but this is Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. So I thought this would be super cute for him to read. He is going into the third grade, so this is definitely on level for him, and I thought that would be fun for him. All right, I needed some oregano leaves, so I got those. A, I only need a little bit of canola oil, and I have been loving using avocado oil, but canola oil, you definitely tell the difference in taste, and this is what I use in my fresh salsa, so I knew I wanted to get some canola oil. So I got a small thing of that, completely out of mustard, so I needed to buy some more. We like to have this on hand for sandwiches. This is the water bottles that we get for our children, the mini ones, because they rarely drink a full one. They let it sit out that nobody knows whose it is. The mini ones are just easier for us. So these are gonna go in the fridge that is sitting outside on my parents' porch. I picked up this thick shredded mozzarella cheese. Need this for a recipe. Also some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Needed some American cheese. So I picked up this twin pack of the Kraft Singles. Completely out of pepperoni and I need some for, uh, my daughter Pearl loves to have this with cheddar cheese on sandwiches. So I picked up the regular kind and then my daughter Rose loves the minis. Well, all of the kids like the minis when I do like a homemade take on Lunchables. So I picked up the minis just to have these on hand. I needed another pound of ground beef for a recipe. And then since we are going to be gone half the week next week, I only got one gallon of milk. And the rest, oh, almost forgot the chips. I did get two bags of chips. Now we are having, you guys are gonna see our last week's meal plan. I said we were having a barbecue on Saturday and I wasn't quite sure what I was taking. So I'm taking fresh salsa. <laughs> so I also picked up two party size bags of chips because we're gonna have a lot of family over. There's gonna be a lot of us. So picked up two bags and then the rest is all produce. So I had to get a lot for my salsa. And I have shared this before in a recipe. I will have it linked in the iCards. It is an old, old video that I did. I think there's a, little, a few other appetizers within that video. But this recipe is also in the cookbook that Nicole, Kira, and I all created last year. So if you guys have that cookbook, you know this recipe. This is my absolute favorite go-to. I've been making this for a very, very long time. So I needed 12 tomatoes. I'm doubling the recipe. Um, these are not for the salsa, but two Roma tomatoes for a different recipe. I have nine jalapeno here, only eight is for the salsa. I need another one for a recipe. Two green bell peppers, some cilantro. I went ahead and got a bag of limes because I needed four limes for various things. And I also like having them on hand to put in my water. So I went ahead and picked up a bag. I have been, I don't, I just have been craving and absolutely loving spaghetti squash lately. So I put it on the menu again this week. So I picked up another one. All right, I have not picked up kiwi in a while, I feel like, but we really do enjoy it. So I actually actually picked up some different variations of fruit for this week. I wanna start trying new things with the kids and I. So I got this container of kiwi. I am going to do some prep for the week. That way it's nice and easy for everybody. And you guys, like seriously, my kids have just been munching and going to town 
on these angel sweet tomatoes. So I'm just gonna keep picking up this size. I can easily use this for any type of recipe on the side with lunches and dinners and again, just for snacking. So got that. Always picking up avocados here lately, not only for my oldest daughter Paige who loves them, but my daughter Pearl has been really enjoying them as well. Using some fresh green beans in a recipe. So I got a bag of those. I needed some dill, two cucumbers, two bunches of green onions. These are for the salsa as well. I went ahead and picked up, I used to buy these all the time, but they are pretty pricey, um, but they're so, so good. These are Asian pears and uh, just like an apple and a pear combined, super, super yummy. So I went ahead and picked up three of those. Oop, that just stuck on my finger. And then, so these are the new, sort of new things I picked up. I have been looking for these forever, finally found them, the organic cotton candy grapes. These are really, really yummy. I think I'm gonna put half of them in the freezer if you guys haven't tried grapes right out of the freezer, they're super yummy, just like a unexpected sweet treat. So I'm gonna do that, and then the other half I'm gonna mix with this bag back here. These are really, really expensive. I always forget how expensive they are until I see my receipt. These were $12. Yeah, I know, but they're really, really good. And we only pick them up, I mean, they're, they're seasonal, so it's not like they're available year round. And then I saw these ones, and I was like, what? I've never ever seen jelly berries before, but I figured we like the cotton candy ones. We'll give these ones a try. They are sweet grape jelly flavor. I did not try one in store. I don't really do that. A lot of people were trying them before they bought them, but I went ahead and picked it up. I thought it'd be fun. So I'm gonna mix these two together and that should be yummy to have on hand. And then I was gonna get a big watermelon, but I saw this one. This is a watermelon, but it's yellow inside. So you, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get a regular personal mini watermelon. This is red inside, just like your typical watermelon. And then I'm gonna mix these two together just in case my kids are a little put off by the yellow. But it is a yellow mini sunny gold watermelon. So we are going to give that a try as well. I thought it'd be fun to do a few new things this week. So that is what I paid $126 flat for at HEB. Now I'm gonna show you guys Walmart. Okay, so now we've got Walmart, which I only actually picked up a few food items from. I needed a lot of non-food items and the total for Walmart was $230 and some odd change, I think it was like 99 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the food items first and then the non-food items. So we like to have lemon juice on hand and we are completely out. So I went ahead and picked up another one. Um, I still have a stick and a half of butter, but just in case I was there, I was looking at the yogurts and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another pack of butter. So this is our favorite, the Kerry Gold. It's got two sticks in here. All right, so Paige is officially back from her vacation and she tried the raspberry Noosa and absolutely loved it. So asked me to pick one up for her for this week. So I went ahead and got that for her. This is an Ibotta deal. So if you guys don't know what Ibotta is, I have a link down below if you guys wanna check it out. Um, I don't use it every single week, but I have been keeping an eye on it over the summer because they're coming out with a lot of new products and I've been curious to see what other products are out there. So I am gonna get a little bit back from this. It's an easy rebuild at the app that you can use. This is a cauliflower crust margarita pizza. So I figured I would pick that up and give it a try. All right, so since we are going out of town, I wanted to go ahead and pick up this six pack of orange juice, just makes breakfast easier. So I got this, we are gonna be taking this with us. This is typically what we pick up. Um, I think I picked this up last year when we were going to the coast or the lake also, but we really just pick it up for convenience when we're going on vacations. These, both of these were on Ibotta and I definitely wanted to give them a try. So this Waterloo is sparkling water um, and it is a eight pack and I got it in the watermelon. They had several different flavors, but that one just sounded the best to me. And then this is also sparkling water, but it's lightly caffeinated. So I definitely wanted to give this a try. I went ahead and picked up the cucumber pear. Again, they had several different flavors. This one actually was not with the sparkling water at Walmart. This is down the aisle, the energy drink. So that's where this is. Um, zero sugar, zero artificial ingredients, zero calories. And this is the same thing. Zero sodium, zero sugar, zero calories. Because this is straight up water, just slightly flavored. Um, but this is lightly caffeinated. So I'm really excited to try both of those. Then I picked up a few different snacky snacks for our little vacation. Um, things that are easy to eat in the car and on the go, because um, it's gonna be a long car ride and we don't wanna stop and eat anywhere. So I picked up this bag. I enjoy these as well. These are super yummy. This is 100 calories per bag. There's 12 in here. There's four of the cheddar cheese, four zesty ranch, and four sea salt. 
And these are the garden veggie straws. These are super yummy. Um, these are brand new. I've never picked these up before. I hope we like them, <laughs> but I thought it um, looked interesting to try. They had a blueberry one and I wanna, I think they had like a fig. I don't remember. I mean, they all have fig in them, but it said fig right here as well. So these are fig and fruit, soft baked, real fig poppables. No high fructose corn syrup made with real fruit. There's five snack packs in here. And I went ahead and got the strawberry, chia, and fig. They did have blueberry, and then they had some kind of, um, another kind of fig one, like I mentioned. So I went ahead and picked up that to try. These are still on Ibotta. My kids eat them, and then they whine that they don't have any more. <laughs> but I don't want them to eat them every day. So I only pick up one at a time. These are the vanilla yogurt flavored raisins. And again, they are still on Ibotta. So you'll get a little bit of a kickback. I picked these up. My kids love these during the school year in their lunch boxes. So I went ahead and picked these up to have on hand for snacking while we're out. And this is six packs. Each pack has four little peanut butter on cheese sandwich crackers in there. And then you guys, if you've been with me for any amount of time, anytime I see a new kind of Oreo, I pick it up because we are an Oreo loving family. No matter what kind of health journey we're, we are on, we're always gonna try the new Oreo. So this one is Marshmallow Moon, Moon Landing's 50th anniversary limited edition and this pack glows in the dark. So I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna put this away. None of my kids are home right now. That's why I'm able to film some of this stuff but I'm gonna hide this and bring it with us on our trip. And then one night I'll pull it out or I'll leave it out during the day while we're out. And when we come back, hopefully it's glowing in the dark and we'll have this with like popcorn and watch a movie or something. And that's how we'll end our day. So I thought that would be cool. It has a little moon print on here with the stars. And I'm assuming the marshmallow cream is purple. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. All right, now onto the non food items. So. The kids absolutely loved the chalk that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, we left it out and it stormed several days last week. So it is all nasty. So I went ahead and picked up this massive 80 piece pack that comes with a container. So hopefully the kids will remember and I'll remind them to put their chalk up when they're done. But this is really fun. It comes with bright pastel tie dye glitter and neon colors. How cool is that? You can see the neon right here. There's a few glitter ones right here. Super, super fun. And then it does come with two holders just in case the kids wanted to put their chalk in there and then draw. I'll show you the back. There's some of the regular, the bright and the pastel color. So they are going to absolutely love this. And I mean, when I say kids, I mean, even my oldest, she's going to be 15 in two weeks. I can't even believe that but she has been loving to draw outside with her siblings with the chalk. I'll have to show you guys or post a picture on Instagram of their drawings one day, but they're having a lot of fun. So that is definitely gonna get used this summer. All right, I got some feminine products. This is, I mean, this is just my favorite brand always. Don't have any problems with leaking at all um, and use these for overnight and they are perfect. All right, I typically get my laundry stuff from Grove Collaborative. However, I already placed my order for this month and completely forgot to add in laundry detergent. So this is on Ibotta. I think I'm getting $3 back. So I figured I would give it a try. I've never used per sale before, but again, we're just gonna give it a try. So I got that. I needed some, I was looking for some disposable gloves. My husband, Mark, is doing some stuff in the backyard and he requested gloves, but I couldn't find any in a large size. They all say like one size fits all and I just know that those are not gonna fit his hands. So I went ahead and got these. These are multi-purpose household gloves. They are latex, um, cotton flock lining and non-slip grip. So we shall see if these will work for him. Few things down the makeup aisle. I do not wear foundation ever. I only use BB cream. So I needed some more and this has been my favorite and my go-to. So I needed some more of that. And then I have not had any luck. I keep picking up different versions of like a nail strengthener, hardener, things like that. And my nails are growing very, very well, but they're starting to chip um, the longer they get. So they're still pretty thin and brittle. So I'm gonna give this a try. Hopefully we shall see, but it says it's by Nail Aid, Biotin Ultimate Strength. Concentrated vitamin B7, fortifies soft, torn nails, extra strong nails in three days, mega shine, anti-chip finish. So 
we shall see if that works. All right, we will go over here. These are the books that I picked up for my three girls. So I picked this up for my almost 15 year old Paige, The Perfectionist. This is the Pretty Little Liars spinoff. I have not watched it. I've watched Pretty Little Liars and she has, but we have not watched The Perfectionist yet. So I might read this after <laughs> she does. I definitely love the, uh, like the teen books still. It's just a guilty pleasure of mine. So I'm excited for that. These are the two books that I got my twins who are going to be seven in the fall. They're entering first grade. So I did get them both a Fancy Nancy book. Walmart didn't have a huge selection. Um, that's why I love going to Barnes & Noble or looking on Amazon. But these are definitely going to be pretty easy. They might need a little bit of help, but I think they'll be able to at least look at these and semi read them in the car. So I got those for them. And then I happened to, I wasn't looking for a book for myself, but I saw this one. If you guys know, I love the Pioneer Woman. I like a lot of her recipes. I love her dish line at Walmart and just the colors and patterns that she uses. So I figured I would go ahead and pick this up and read it. So hopefully this is good, but I will, maybe I'll update you guys on Instagram once I finish reading this, if I liked it or not. All right, I am mailing out something. So I needed a small box. We have been in this house for five months now, a little over five months, I think. And we're, we're definitely realizing some things that are working and some things that are not working. So um, I needed two more hooks. We're actually gonna do a revised tour. We're gonna change some things around, reorganize some things. So that will be coming up, but needed two more hooks. Also, I am still working on getting Rose and Pearl, those are my twins, to bathe themselves. They are going to be seven soon. And I figured having a mirror in the shower will help them see what they're doing with their hair. Um, they're pretty, I mean, they wash their body completely fine, but with their hair, they're not washing it well enough. So I wanted to get them a mirror and hopefully that will help them see where they're putting the soap and how much they're, you know, getting in there and all that good stuff. So we've had really good luck with the command shower um, stuff so far, or bath stuff, this line. So looking forward to using that and getting these girls bathing themselves. All right, speaking of the pioneer woman, I completely broke my salt shaker. It wasn't on purpose, I swear. <laughs> but it wasn't a Pioneer Woman set. So I was really, I was actually excited once I broke it. I was like, oh dang, all right, it's broken. I need a new one. So I was looking, she has several different kinds and this is the one that I ended up picking. I thought it was just super cute, no pattern. I just love the color. So I got a Pioneer Woman salt and pepper shaker. All right, this is gonna be in a vlog. <laughs> coming this summer, I don't know when, but my son has been obsessed with watching YouTube channels, and I don't even know the name of this channel, I'm sure my husband does, but this guy, actually it's a it's a duo, um, two gentlemen, create box forts um, on pools, in their backyard, on trampolines, I mean wherever in their house, they create these elaborate box forts. So we have been saving our boxes for three months now, and we have quite a few, <laughs> so now it's time for Bryce to create his own box fort, and of course he needed tape. So I did get a three pack of scotch packing tape and that will be a lot of fun hopefully not too much frustration but hopefully he has a good time with that needed some toilet paper we love cottonelle and this is also happens to be on ibotta as well and then two extra things so i mentioned already my daughter Paige is turning 15 july 2nd so in just two short weeks and she has been loving anything with like a cactus print on it and these coloring so i saw this she loves drinking she loves having her own personal cups um, that nobody else is allowed to use, i.e. her siblings. So I went ahead and picked this up. I saw it and I was like, that is really nice. Like this is a really, it wasn't super cheap either. I feel like it was 15 or $19. So I'm gonna hide this and save this for her birthday, but it is by Tall. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but T-A-L, stainless steel modern bottle. It is double wall vacuum insulated, cold for 24 hours, hot for 12 hours. So maintains your drinks temperature. I thought this would be really nice for her to have. So I picked that up and again, like that beautiful print, I know she's going to love it. And then, Every now and then I find little gems down the clearance aisle. Every single time I go to Walmart, I go down the clearance aisle. Probably about 20% of the time I find something and the other 80, nothing, no luck. But <laughs> this was in the 20%. So I found this and I knew my girls would love to use this this summer. It was pretty much half off. It was $9.97 marked down to $5 and it is just hair chalk. It includes four chalks. And then it does have some tattoos in there and some stencils as well. So I know they're gonna have a good time with that. And last but not least, all right, actually two more things from Walmart. 
this was about $50. So that's why my, my total was so high and not a lot is on the table. So this was about $50 and my dogs needed two new beds. Now these aren't necessarily considered dog beds. These are considered crate mats. However, I have very big fluffy dogs that shed and it is this past week, it's been super hot outside. So they go outside, do their business and they immediately want in. And the dog beds that we had were really fluffy and like the velvety soft, definitely more for winter. And they were just, I could tell that they were too hot on them. So I got them these ones. These are one gonna be super easy to clean and wipe down their durable water resistance. And I feel like they're gonna be cooler for them. And I don't want them to, because of where we're at, it's really just, concrete. I mean, it, the floor is really, really hard. So I definitely wanted to pick up something for them, but I didn't want to pick up something that was going to be too hot for them. So hoping this works. These were 24 and change, almost $25 a piece. So those dog beds and then everything else here was everything I picked up from Walmart. Okay. Now let's go over the meal plan. So I went back and forth on this. I made several different changes since our um, impromptu sort of last minute mini vacation came up. Um, I already had some ideas and I ended up whiting some things out. So this is going to be for the week of June 23rd to the 29th. I always meal plan from Sunday to Saturday, do my grocery shopping on Friday or Saturday morning, and then we're set for the next week. So for Sunday breakfast, I have planned eggs and bacon, lunch, we're going to be trying some guacamole and lazy chips from a cookbook. I've been sharing some pictures on Instagram and I'm starting to film some what's for dinner videos. So if you guys are interested in seeing those, one, follow me on Instagram and two, subscribe so you can see these what's for dinners because I'm enjoying filming them for y'all. Um, so those are going to be out of a like a keto for beginners like lazy keto for beginners cookbook and then i do have some sausage that we're going to be adding to that just to bulk up lunch dinner is going to be some chicken cordon bleu casserole with a creamy cucumber salad on monday breakfast i have planned pancakes and fruit lunch is just going to be a homemade lunchable and dinner is going to be italian spaghetti squash bowls with roasted parmesan green beans all right, so Tuesday we are getting up as early as we can and just hitting the road and we're going to be back late Thursday. So we're going to be out. So for Tuesday, I'm hoping to prep some different breads and muffins. I meant to do that last week and I just, time got away from me. I never made the zucchini bread. I never made the blueberry muffins and I didn't make that coconut flour pound cake either. So I have plenty of things still on hand to make some items. So I'm hoping to do some prepping this weekend and you know, finishing out on Monday so we can take them with us and have food on the go. So I put breads and muffins, anything that we have for breakfast. Lunch is going to be sandwiches. We're actually going to take things with us, with us in the car so we don't have to stop. And then dinner will be at Great Wolf Lodge. So we are going to eat two dinners at Great Wolf and one breakfast. And then we're kind of hoping to bring our own stuff for the other meals. So that's on Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be our full day at Great Wolf Lodge. So breakfast, again, we're gonna eat things that we bring. I actually picked up some stuff from the Dollar Tree as well. If you guys missed that video, that was yesterday's upload. Lunch, I put miscellaneous because I'm not quite sure. I don't wanna eat every single meal at Great Wolf because you can definitely bring things and save money. So I'm hoping that we're just gonna eat what we have and what we take. Breakfast though, I love eating breakfast at hotels at least once. So I did want to eat breakfast the day that we're leaving at Great Wolf Lodge. And then lunch, I put miscellaneous. I'm hoping we still have, we brought enough to have um, one more meal out of. And then dinner, we will be eating out because we're not going to be home until after dinner. Friday, a little bit different this whole week. So Friday, I'm actually leaving in the morning. So I made it super easy for my husband. I said, we have plenty of toaster strudels and we have a little bit the cereal left over so have the kids pick one of those for lunch I said we have corn dogs we have pizza rolls just make it nice and easy on yourself um, but I'm actually going to Austin for the day um, and I won't be back until Saturday like late afternoon maybe because I'm gonna do do some errands when I leave Austin so dinner I'm gonna be eating at Hayes barbecue in San Marcos gonna be trying that out 
with uh, a friend who I'm going to be with for that day. You guys will probably see pictures on Instagram probably. Um, but that's the plan for that day. And then Saturday I will be heading back home. And if I'm home early enough, I doubt it. But if I am home early enough, I was going to pick up donuts and surprise the kids. But now that I'm thinking about it, since I'm going to do my grocery shopping Saturday morning, I think they're just going to eat things that are here and I won't be picking up donuts. So lunch and dinner, I just put leftovers because again, this week is just kind of crazy with all six of us being out of town and then me being out of town. Um, I just want to make sure that we are eating up anything we have left over in the fridge and we're going to start July off with a nice clean kitchen and um, a new grocery haul. So that is what we have planned for this semi busy week. All right, so those are my two hauls, the meal plan. We are super excited. I am definitely going to be sharing a lot on my Instagram for our trip. I don't know how much of it I'm going to vlog. I've definitely realized that vlogging takes away a little bit from me enjoying the time with my kids so i've been doing less of it and i know you guys are loving the vlogs but i swear i'm going to share as much as possible i'm just going to utilize my instagram more so if you guys like that i share my grocery haul and i'm including the non-grocery items every single week give this video a big thumbs up that is the easiest way to tell me to keep doing these videos for you also if you are new i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our community here and i will see you guys in another video on Monday. Bye guys.